So I, I have got a set of photographs of a walk I did with JD, the producer, who turned up at one of the shows, a wild show, when I was uh, in the studio. The Phonic Studio was available for a short period of time, but I'm, I'm now locked down uh, for November. So we started off the cafe in the library, and then we went through the through the Guildhall, past where HMV used to be, next to McDonald's, past uh, Rooster Records, down to what used to be the arcade, but is now uh, student accommodation, and there had been a discussion in the in the studio earlier on, so I'm I'm going to invite the good, the bad, and the ugly show to provide a a random citizen who might be um, available for comment at this stage of the play and would would give an opinion of, of what to make of the empty shop available um, compared to the kind of retail space it, it used to be. Because this, this is one of the things about the student accommodation, it, it's gradually taken over the city and um, some, something is lost and I, I think from the point of view of local community radio or what the people in Exeter make of the um, HE situation that's that's the bit that, that we notice and um, so the question of what's what's going on with moving online comes up in that context because it if it if it turns out that um, all this student accommodation isn't really needed calling it co-living instead um, there may be people who like that but it, it just means that the the housing that's available is is just to a certain standard in the city and um, it's not obvious that's gonna be the best um, best option available um, Coupled with, we're not at all sure Exeter City Council have any planning influence over this situation, really, when it comes down to it. Um, anyway, I'm going, going, going back to reality, and this is the drama show. So, going back to the the um, the play, the the idea is to go go then uh, through the sort of cathed the cathedral space and Southern Hay, and over to where the Honiton Inn used to be. Similar similar situation for student accommodation. Again, there's an advert for um, a cafe or a restaurant or something, could you use the space that's available? But, but how does that compare with what used to be there? And then um, backwards, to, well, back back up to the high street. J JD and I actually finished off in, in uh, Starbucks, which used to be our price records at some time ago we'll have to fill in all the dates l later on um, and that's that's where we ended so that that took us about two hours in real time the the, the idea of all these uh, clips sound clips would be to fit into a two-hour radio show Every, everything on phonic fits into a two-hour show so you could do that in real time and talk about things as you went along or you could record various clips. Some people might stay in the in the studio. Or I think Chris and John, who are in wheelchairs, might do a shorter version. They might uh, have had some help getting up the hill as far as the um, the library, the library cafe, and um, find their way maybe with others. It depends how far you want to go, really. But there could be another route which got as far as um, Starbucks. It might not take two hours either. Uh, this is called Forum Theatre, by the way, the technical term. Some of it is scripted. Some of it will be standard as it goes along. And um, some bits will depend on the guests of who we, who we happen to meet. So it might not just be somebody from The Good, The Bad and The Ugly Show. It might be anybody as we as we sort of go on that route or a slightly different route but that's one which there are photographs for